A regional trial court in Caloacan finds three policemen guilty of murdering 17-year-old Kian de los Santos. This is the first conviction of abusive cops in President Rodrigo Duterte's war on drugs. Caloacan Judge Rodolfo Azucena Jr. convicts police officers Arnel Oares, Jeremias Pereda, and Jerwin Cruz and sentences them to reclusion perpetua or imprisonment for 20 to 40 years without parole. But the cops were found not guilty of planting firearms and drugs, a charge the prosecution failed to prove. The three were conducting the anti-drug operation Oplan Galugad when they claimed that Kian de los Santos fired at them. Nanlaban or resisted arrest is the usual government line used to justify the actions of policemen in the face of accusations the killings are extrajudicial and state-sanctioned. President Rodrigo Duterte explains his decision not to appoint Supreme Court Senior Associate Justice Antonio Carpio as Chief Justice. Carpio, ang isa di ato di isang mudawat. Na pagkahuman kay ang next in rank may ako ang guna ko. Next in rank. Next in rank kung maayo ka. But Carpio accepted the most recent nomination for the post. He declined his nomination in a previous CJ search right after the ouster of Maria Lourdes Serena. Duterte also mentioned Carpio's vocal insistence on using the 2016 legal victory of the Philippines over China's expansive claim in the South China Sea. Magsige ka hanker nga atakiho ni mo ng you do something. What do you want me to do? Arbitration, so I'll order my military and the police to go there in Palawan and shoot it out. It will be a massacre. Pwede ito mo daog niya. Wala tayong maano niya. The Chinese scientist who claims to have created the world's first genetically edited babies defends procedure, but announced a halt to the trial. He Jiangkui earlier said that he was proud to have successfully altered the DNA of twin girls born to an HIV-positive father. But details of the experiment triggered an immediate backlash with experts denouncing the work as an ethical mess. The experiment prompted heated debates among scientists over the risks involved. Experts warn, editing human embryos can create unintended mutations in other areas. Southern University of Science and Technology distanced itself from him, saying he's been on unpaid leave since February and seriously violated academic ethics.